Morning, Ben. Thank you um, for agreeing to sit for an interview this morning. Just wanted to say thank you very much for that. And there's a series of questions on being a photographer. Um, you've got a good reputation for being skilled with a camera and taking great wedding shots and great portrait shots. I wondered if you had any tips for any student photographers on uh, de developing their skills and moving forward as individuals. Well, I'd probably suggest just go out with your camera, try different things. Um, that's how I got started, I used to go for a two mile walk with my camera, taking pictures of everything. Um, and then from there, sort them out, have a look at them editing wise and see how you can progress and how what you could do with the images to make them better. That's a sound answer, that. If you were to break that question down into the three things that above all you would rate that a budding photographer requires, what would those three things be? Um, probably, well, first off, you need an eye for it. A fair call. Um, a camera it doesn't necessarily need to be a good camera. I started off with a, a little Sony when I first started and just practice with that and try different things with that. Um, thirdly, patience. It doesn't come straight away. It took me two years to get to where I was quite comfortable being. Um, so could we read into that then, that having a good eye for photography, I think what we're saying is that the devil's in the detail and maybe people tend to judge themselves too harshly because they see the quality of work that you consistently produce but then think because they've got an expensive camera that that quality will come instantly. Yeah, I guess that's a, a common misconception. It doesn't necessarily mean the better the camera and the better the pictures. Um, you can have the best camera in the world but if you haven't got the eye for it um, then you won't capture the right pictures. Knowing what you know now about photography, do you feel that this eye for photography in brackets is something that an individual's born with or it's something that they can learn? Um, yeah, I think you can learn it. When I first started out with my camera, the pictures I was taking wasn't amazing, wasn't even very good. Um, but I was happy with them. I enjoyed doing it. Uh, it took about a year before I got a Facebook page set up and then just got uh, feedback through that. And if people had a and input on my images, I was more than happy to listen to it, whether it be constructive or praising. Um, I was happy to listen to all sorts of comments about my images. In this two year journey, because it, it's also my belief that photography is a journey, and going back to the old quote that sometimes it's better to travel than to arrive, that each man or lady has an individual journey within the brighter, brighter the wider church of photography. Do you feel that at this time that you're still learning techniques and detail about photography? Yeah, um, I learn things all the time. It doesn't necessarily have to be the pictures, it's editing side of it as well. I'm learning thing, new things all the time, editing wise, um, just to make the images stand out that little bit more. But with, with regards to taking pictures, there's loads of different techniques that I don't even know of yet or not learn. Um, if you were to pick, let's say, three techniques or type of photography that you'd like to learn in 2015 and arguably share that journey with the club, what would you suggest those three are? Oh, next year I wouldn't mind doing a bit more street photography. Okay. Um, yeah. Really enjoy that. Um, a bit more urbexing, going into abandoned buildings. I've not done that much this year. Hear that. Um, I can't really think of a third. Probably just carry on with my landscapes and just try and improve my landscapes and build on what I've already done. And you've done some beautiful landscape shots, that's for sure. I think from a layman's point of view, do you feel that photographic perfection is attainable? Yeah, by um, if if you're happy with your images, then I don't see why they, they can't be perfect. Um, with my images, a lot of them now are client based, so it's a bit difficult if I'm happy with them, I hope the clients are happy with them. Um, That's a fair point of looking at it, that is a fair point. 
because that that word is not many letters in the English language perfection but it arguably means different things to different people do you feel that photography is a team sport um, in some respects yeah because with weddings I would struggle I wouldn't struggle but it's easier if you've got an assistant there um, I've had a a good assistant last few weddings, he's, he's done all right. Okay, if we were to delve deeper into the team sport bit, um, as photographers, we get asked not all too often because that implies disrespect, but very often, what we find is, especially in street photography, is that people feel safety in numbers. Um, by standing next to somebody in a street situation almost makes them feel a need or the greater ability to take street shots. How would you advise people that are new to street photography to take inspiring street images? From, from my experience, um, it is correct that probably it is safer in numbers, especially in, in a, a city environment. Um, but again, you need to be patient. It doesn't happen straight away. If you want to get good street pictures, you have to keep taking pictures in the street. Um, so if you're not there, you can't improve your images. That's where I'm lacking a bit. I've not spent a lot of time doing street, which I do enjoy a lot of. Uh, so maybe next year I will try and make more time for it. Oh, good man. Because what, what I find is the more that I know about this broad tent church of photography, the more I realise that I've got more to learn and I'm enjoying the journey. And meeting sound people within photography makes all the difference um, on a couple of points, that it makes us feel better about the work that we produce, the knowledge and the tip swapping enables the group to get better quicker and uh, enables a group of people that arguably didn't know each other to bond and to be able to produce work that we never thought that we could produce. And I suppose behind every great man there's arguably, arguably a greater woman uh, or a surprised woman depending on one, one's point of view for, for, for both of us. What support does your good lady provide to you in this business? Um, she's there a lot. Um, there's, there's a lot of little things. Like I do ask a lot of advice on my images. If, if she likes them, then I think a lot of people will like them. Um, it's not just that, because I am actually colour blind as well. So I always check with my, Emily on my images to make sure there's no weird colours there. Or if it's supposed to be a certain colour, it's not the wrong colour. So she helps me out with that as well. I bless your heart. And I suppose in closing, if someone was looking at, and they've met Mr. Wright or Mrs. Wright, and they're looking at booking a wedding photographer for the first or second quarter of 2015, would you be good enough to share with us what product you offer and then briefly why providing or asking you to provide their wedding photography and imaging and videography that that be the best choice that they could make? Um, we have three packages um, ranging from 350 up to 850 um, we have a professional service We're there whenever you want how long you want us there for we cater for you if you want a certain style certain pictures taken then we'll ensure we capture them at moments for you. We always give our clients a checklist to ensure we get the right images, the images they want with the people they want in the images. Because uh, there'd be no point me choosing who to get in here and there. It's it's based on the client. The day is the client's day. So I am there to help boost that, help improve it for them and just do anything I can to help them get a better experience on the day. Um, I always have an assistant. Um, last few weddings I've had Richard uh, Moore helping me out, he's been a great help and hopefully he'll be helping me out again next year. No, bless your heart man. From my point of view as a videographer and as a macro and street reflection artist that 
all disciplines within photography, although depending on what one level wishes, one wishes to attain, are all photography. I think we always look it upon it that in the IT industry, when a lady or gentleman says that I'm in IT, the general public seems to think that they fix computers, when in reality there could be a thousand distinct jobs within IT. And I feel that within photography, there are many levels of both attainment, achievement and skill level within photography. Yeah. And um, it, it's a journey that you know we both love. Yep. And um, I just want to say thank you very much for allowing us to do this interview with you today, Ben. Cheers, been and a pleasure. In closing, could you state your full trading name as your business, please? Um, it's Ben Kirby, and the studio is called The Old Stables Photography Studio. And how would members of the public get hold of you to book them for their events or weddings, Ben? They can find us on Facebook, searching for the name, or you can contact me, Ben, on 0795 018987. Splendid. And we both wish you a very Merry Christmas.